So anyway, trying out Wormsy Gramsy. Fish and chips. Per container is 470 uh, calories. It's fat 18. Saturated is 1.5. Trans fat zero. Cholesterol is 50. Sodium for the whole thing is 110. Carbs is 54. <clears throat> zero fiber, zero sugar, zero added sugar. Protein is 20. Vitamin D is zero. Calcium is 20 milligrams. Iron is zero. Potassium is 1,000. 130, 150, uh, 50. Not reading ingredients. And I show the back. Air fryer. Don't have one anymore. Got rid of it because I don't like them. And then uh, no microwave. So you can't put this in the microwave. And then another other option is oven. 425 for 22 minutes. So I'll get this one started. No pull tabs. Try not to get a paper cut. Okay. They're not in the container. They're separated in bags. That looks like the fish. And here's the chips. Now it doesn't say anything on the box about separating them. New product from packaging placed onto a Line cookie sheet, cook for 22 minutes, make sure it gets the 165, make it safe, and let it sit for two to three minutes and enjoy. So I was wondering, I think I have something else. You know, for this one here is microwave only, and then this one here is microwave only. Don't say anything about oven. So uh, I'm gonna follow the directions. I guess I'll use this cookie sheet here that I got and I'll put foil on it. I use some, I'll just use a little bit of margin. I spread on the cookie sheet here and then I use my fingers to spread it out. That's what she said. Had the butter on there. And the only reason why I'm doing this is to keep, it, keep the stuff from sticking. So I'm going to spread this out really well. I have to put some more. But uh, I get the food placed on here and in the oven. It's one. Two fish, three fish, four fish, five, six fishes of fish. I ain't counting the chips. And this this margarine won't change the flavor, hopefully, too much of the food. All right, and spread out. Now this fish or this chip is pretty big. So hopefully it cooks. They look like before it's done. So uh, I'll be back when the finished product. 22 minutes later. But I'm still going to do food reviews in between. Because I can. I already did. Alright. There's the potato. Alright. Well it's potatoes. I was going to say they're potato french fries. But they're chips. There's the fish, and then they did get golden brown on the bottom, so that's the way my oven works. They don't get golden all the way through. I don't have convection bake anymore, so uh, these should be cooked on the other side. Not really. Hopefully they're done, and in the fancy china. So uh, I do have uh, craft tartar sauce, which I'll try with it. I got a packet of ketchup. And uh, make it more official. I got some malt vinegar. I am letting this cool off, so hopefully, uh, this tastes good. I right, hopefully it cooled off enough. I guess I'll start out with the fish or chips while well, they're still nice and hot. Mm, nice and crispy. I'm gonna try one of the bigger ones. I didn't put no salt or nothing on the potatoes. You can see the steam. And it's cooked all the way through, hopefully. Just came out of the oven, so kind of should have waited. Yeah, there's no seasoning on it. And skin, nice and creamy in the middle. 
I dry it out or nothing. It needs a little bit of salt. I will try it with this ketchup in a minute. I don't let the fish cool off. I'm not using a fork, like little chicken chicken nuggets, but they're front, uh, cod. I don't, know, I don't know if it's codfish. Does it even say what it is? Bat, uh, beard battered pollock. So, if it has real beer in it, can't give it to your dog. Because it has hops in it. And hops are poisonous to dogs. I don't know about cats, but, uh, Seems to be flaky. Breading, eh, not a light coating of breading, but it's definitely there. All right, see this piece by itself. I try. Hmm, batter's kind of gooey. Let's see. Let's see if I can see the. Uh... Yeah, it has hops in it. It's just beer, malted barley, rice, hops, yeast. So yeah, these are the fish is not uh, pet friendly for sure. So don't feed it to your dog. Hmm. All right, his ketchup opened up. I tried out on a potato. Still need salt. I don't think gonna stick. To the French fries because they're not oily. But it's all put salt on it. I thought it was. Oh, it did leak. Whatever. Put some uh, malt vinegar on the chips. Thought they're supposed to be served anyway. I don't know what the date of this. Hopefully that's not expired or anything. A little bit more salt where the vinegar was. Now that's a proper way of uh, doing fish and chips. The malt vinegar. Mm, not bad. I'm gonna give it a rating because I have to doctor it up. I shouldn't have to doctor up food. All right, I'm gonna give this uh, craft tart tartar sauce. I'm gonna just shake it up. I'm not usually a fan of pre-made sauce. Usually they, uh, they tend to be too sweet. All right, I'll try just the sauce by itself as it coming out by itself. And I'll do some vinegar on another piece. Cheers, everybody. Tar sauce does definitely help. You know, a bigger piece. I'm gonna put some sauce on it, but I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna get on the counter anyway because it's leaking on me. A little splash, a vinegar, malt vinegar, tartar sauce. Not bad fish and chips. A lot of sodium in it. I don't like uh, that. Fish itself is overpowering, so I can't really taste the beer. And probably would be better, uh, probably deep fried, which is not an option on here. It's only air fryer. And they don't have one, so you know it's not crispy on the outside. It's just gooey. Fish is kind of chewy a little bit, not really that tender. Potatoes are good by themselves, but that, <clears throat> but that's just a straight up potato. Adding the uh, malt vinegar and salt, you know, to the French fries. I, I give those like a four. Fish, I give like a two. Point seven. It's okay. It's edible, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy this again. Not no six dollars. French fries should be deep fryable, and the fish should be really, really crispy. So overall, I don't care for it. So I don't use any more heat. And then probably gonna throw that away. So enjoy this video. Thumbs up. Hit subscribe button for race. Hey, crushing. Peace out. I get. A, I get a good rating to this. I give it a 1.5. It's creamy, but it's too much sugary. You, you, you got to review everything. 
salt. No, I'm not reviewing that. This is probably expired. Oh, yeah. Expired three, four years ago. Oh. Still tastes vinegar. Oh, well.